rock and roll. Look at this zone here, Tiff. It looks like we're going to be uh, hanging out fairly centrally located, maybe favoring that city location. Frankly, didn't even really see a city in circle yesterday, so it'd be good to see one today. That's very true, and I was wondering about that. I was like, would we get something that favors Zeravan City? But where the plane line has kind of cut through Urzikstan, there's going to be some difficulties for a lot of our rosters if they're used to landing on the southern side of Urzikstan. So a lot of people kind of just hanging it on out, hovering just above Bazaar. Be curious to see if this roster for Too Strong is going to keep on hovering over. But Robstar, Vortex, Blade, this is a roster that we talked a lot about at the top of the show, kind of coming in second seed here for the E. MEA last chance qualifiers would love to see this roster be able to get into that global finals but you know a lot of our picks yesterday like you said they just <laughs> really didn't come through and I wrote all the teams down that I thought would have qualified and I turned my notebook I guess into a death note sure. and I didn't write predictions down for EMEA. I do get that reference Tiff okay I'm learning slowly but surely uh yeah I'm excited to see some early contested drops I think there was some chatter here and there on broadcast and off broadcast about EMEA being a bit slower I don't know if we're gonna see that day you gotta be top four you better get a move on right now it looks like our German trio is doing that scuffology already on one pushing what looks like team 15 uh, right around the corner here in Riverside. As you can see, uh, Rafix is going to try to make a play from down below. I, they've got player advantage. just a matter of how do you address this fight to make sure you don't lose a player in the process. Be smart, and it looks like that's what they're doing. Not going to take any chances here. Saw some teams do that yesterday, Tiff. They tried to push 1v2s or even 2v2s where they didn't have the advantage. A low percentage gunfight means you're probably going home in a body bag. That's true, but if you take that player advantage for yourself and then you just kind of give it too long of a time to wait, they're likely going to come back from the gulag. But finally, a couple pop-ups to get to the high ground and maybe reapproach from a different angle nets them a nice few more eliminations. However, it has garnered that attention. You can see Zeet and Trance just on the opposing side. Yes, they've got streaks going out. And Scuffology, that team is doing something that's so right, right? Just smoke and disengage. Focus on kind of fighting forward. And we... Think about the number of eliminations you need per game to hit that metric you were talking about while we've got a moment here, that 15.8 or so. I want to see two to three solid team fights on your rotations, and you know, this is the way to start it off. Yeah, great way to start it off. Your Prado need a big one here and need it now. We're just getting started, but it feels like we're already in the end game almost because the margins are so thin. You have to get these kills and Spyro's team falls. You hate to see it from that squad. A team, uh, as per the usual with LCQs, uh, we got Ross that break apart, split apart, pass around. We got an Italian roster mania that I could spend three hours breaking down for everybody's trading teammates. But for a team like Spyro, we're supposed to be here. Then got the call up because uh, rosters fractured. So we'll see if maybe they can restabilize after going down early. And speaking of restabilizing, Pink Turtle, how about a most wanted in pocket and in trouble? We're going to try to secure some extra cash for Rob Star and make sure Pink Turtle can't restabilize. See you later. No cash for you, Mr. Turtle. Too bad the trap was already set right there as they collapsed around it. But now we have to focus forward. You've got that roster number 12 on the screen coming on in. That's going to be too strong. And there's not a lot of cover in this nearby area. But if you're going to rip that last player and then kind of disengage over here, it's smart. Start putting up a couple team fights like we mentioned, but making sure that you're not overextending too far out into the open because, you know, some teams still rocking a player on that car 98K despite a few different iterations of nurse is still nice to have for those mid to long range engagements you can see blade vortex Ooh. rotating on out you know be groovy and physic hey they want a piece of the action yeah they definitely do again another team that made roster changes about half of our teams here made roster changes uh specifically 17 out of 20 teams uh ridiculous stat or sorry 17 out of 40 teams uh, and when you have player advantage like this you're moving with physic this time around with be groovy and Bitto. Would love to clean up a squad that is down a player, but back to the action we go as we see Clapper making a move. Squad nine on your screen. For the most part, people at home, if you see a number, that's kind of what they were quote unquote seeded coming in. Now that's not holistically true. We'll try to keep you updated on some of the teams that were subbed in because of roster changes and roster fractures. But for the most part, that is mostly the case. But if anything, uh, if we learned anything from yesterday, Tiff, uh, the on paper top four didn't make uh, the, the the, uh, in our heads top four didn't make. I mean, it's just about to be chaos. So really none of this matters. It's just about who performs today.
It really is. And if you're going to be rotating in through the seaport district, having a couple of these isolated fights before you start kind of carrying on that rotation down towards the south of Urzikstan, when you have a lot of playable space in Zaravan City, in Zaravan suburbs that are going to be left, you want to make sure that you can go ahead and focus on that rotation with enough time to set yourself up for a proper building. Now, for Clapper, Zakar, and Rocket, I think it's vital that we get some eliminations before we get there. Because think back to our match one winners yesterday in NALCQ, that team sit rep. They won with only 10 eliminations because they were so focused on the yep. rotates. So you can see that the opposing squad, they're like, hey, we're wasting a lot of time here. Let's go ahead and disengage. And I thought Rocket was going to be able to rip one out through that rotation. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, just a hair slow on the read that they're going to rotate out. So frankly, a great play by their opponents. Again, would love to see this uh, team remake, uh, or at least part of this team, remake LCQ. Uh, history here and make global finals but again this uh you know enigma broke it down beautifully this rocket team uh with rocker rocket and zakar they actually got second last year in the lcqs barely missing out on global finals during the normal stages i remember cursing them and saying they missed one kill and that's uh yep. that was the kill they needed to go to global so luckily they were able to make it through lcqs we'll see if they're able to do it again this time around Love the support that they received on land last year. But uh, off to the bridge we go, which means, well, you don't have a lot of cover. So even from distance, getting peppered, you're going to have to use some of those resources. Now, as per the usual, Tiff, it's smoke and run, smoke and run. Of course, and throw some C4s while you're at it. No, for real, though, I, I like this rotation. I'm not hating it. There's not a lot of people over on this side of the map, given the way the plane line was at the start, right? If you're going to find people over here, it's because they worked so hard to get there. But for FIFA kill, Lennon, Jukies, on paper, one of the favorites coming into this, and we're actually shocked that they didn't qual through some prior rounds. For now, everything comes down to this top four last chance qualifier. And the team on your screen, well, I think it's better for them to maybe kind of go for that disengage now granted where we have found ourselves on the map is a large majority of where it could potentially pull to right we're talking about the playable space inside this circle and setting up early can lead to a lot of success in the late <sighs> game let yeah. focus on the location and let the eliminations come to you yeah I, I like that strategy usually as you see a massive fight happening with fifa kill and control off screen this is the team that was a, a potential third party but they bailed right when all all the way over here to uh way across the map actually hitting the redeploy uh across but i don't know tiff like i like that strategy but i think all the teams that had that strategy yesterday didn't didn't secure the top four position like you can't just go that early with basically not a single kill to your name like you've got to get eliminations and, and we, i said it yesterday i'm gonna say it again today if you secure a 2x multiplier with less than double digit kills you are doing yourself a disservice it's not gonna be enough you've got to make those count and this is what you need to be doing you need to be flying and frying edge of zone i think especially this early is fine you can make a big rotation with a vehicle you know redeploy whatever you need to do to get across the map quickly with not you know losing your life i, I think there's a balance you got to strike you've got to find early kills to be top four there is no room for error there really is an Ember, Black Bandana, Viero, and Belv here on the screen. They're already working towards some eliminations. We've got zero so far, but can we stack this staircase? And the fact that we peek right on in, and that's definite of delay. Trying to get some angles on Amonzo, finally dropping him. Going to focus forward, make sure we get our armor plates back on, and the full comes through. Regardless, you need to be careful on these engagements. You can already see that one member of that squad has just been like, all right, look, I'm looking for my regain. I'm just going to get out of dodge right now. And it's smart, but when you pop up UAVs and you start looking at who's going to be around you, there's not a lot of areas that are going to be rotating in through this Opal Palace and into Old Town, right? Because of the way that circle decided to kick towards the West Goge, we could be in for a really wild end game. Yeah, to be very clear, we're down six squads, and here's a couple of them. Uh, we've got squad 20 gone, done and dusted. Paxor out of here in the very first map. Not a good one. Uh, team 15 out of here. Kong gone. Uh, team 10, Skinner, Pink Turtle, fully eliminated. We're talking big hitting teams. A lot of folks, uh, you know, really looked at a couple of those squads and said, hey, we can see them doing really well. We saw Paxor with some crazy plays during the, the couple stages leading up to LCQs today, but dropping map one with little to nothing to show for it, gotta be brutal for some of these teams, and hopefully they'll be able to regain, but 
back to uh, seemingly outside the action we go here on the outskirts of condos looking for a play in from visions they don't have to move not yet but again no kills really to boot so it's like where is this team rotating behind us well we found them team 33 rotating in and they're gonna hit the redeploy as well ideally we'd like to land one of these shots gonna be very difficult and nothing landing currently maybe a couple ars would help but not right now as well oh actually it's somebody else i think it's azen picking up one of those players out of the air azen a walking highlight reel gotta shout out that team when we can see him later a really strong keyboard and mouse player yeah they're still holding kind of down south of cargo on that bridge but huncho agree in tempe trying to get a move on some of their eliminations in this early game but not before you get caught off guard by in tempe holding down the stairs forced to re Ooh. disengage and you connect the thermite the eod keeps them alive a little bit longer just enough for the trade and now we're in the gulag yeah it was uh, honestly i think if he just backs off well we get a good nice gulag win we take those but i think if he just backs off uh after he gets the stick gets the knot replates and then readdresses the fight they can't res in time might have been able to win that gunfight but would have been pretty difficult we'll see if they can go three for three here we saw some quick back-to-back -back action in the gulag and they both won their teammate tempe looking for the third again this is your kind of on paper threshold team they got fourth or could get fourth, seated fourth, Ooh. and unfortunately gets gunned down, but both your teammates won, so you're right back into the mix. Again, being fourth seed essentially means you got 16th in the finals, so you can repeat that seemingly some success. Might have some success here in LCQs as consistently getting gunned. We've got uh, Strunk falling, Team 12, by Team 11 here on the outskirts, Opera House. This is what I'm talking about, Tiff. we got to play outside of zone. we got to play for kills. Yeah, this is a squad that's been looking, right? Too strong, kind of going over towards that bizarre area and just a little bit south. Ooh. Rips Chow off that rotation. The smoke's coming in just a little bit too late. Solitude there on cleanup crew. And now we've just got to switch the angle and look for Renzo, kind of that's heading into the water. We do have this bunker buster in pocket for some of our later battles, especially when you start pulling into those building heavy centrals of Urzik stand. But you're right. If we're going to be playing this outer edge of circle here, why not rack up a few eliminations? And it's starting to work. You got Solitude already on three north of 1k damage and we do have to keep moving slightly forward hopefully too strong can go ahead and net this gulag win and allow them an easy regain for end that's a great shot strong would love to win this one get right back into the mix teammates don't have to spend their cash they have some they have enough for a buy but you'd like to save that for in game finds his opponent how about a gun to the back? How about a gun to the face? Cannot finish him off. How about a pistol? That'll do. Finally. Grabs the kill. The problem is it was too little too late. Look, Solitude in trouble. Gets one teammate back. Sisty falls out of the window. What's going on? This dude not Jason Bourne, my friend. Back up. Oh, that had to be a misplay. Luckily, he was able to stay alive as teammate flying back in is going to be a kind of in-air UAV without the U. I don't know. Unmanned. Definitely a man flying around in the air. Get some info for his teammate to say, hey, maybe you can wrap out right, go to the water. I don't mind this play as it looks like Strong is going to fly somewhere else. But unfortunately, not enough. Even with the self-res, I just don't think it's going to be a good regain there you can see that italian roster has already pushed up and found that full albeit a very valiant effort at escaping but now we can kind of go ahead and focus on that rotation keep pulling towards the west we will have some people that are going to be looking to rotate through the water around that end game and i do want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to this because we did see fifa kill Jukies, Lennon kind of go down in the kill feed earlier they made a full regain over in zaravan city on that southern side that's a great shout. And taking a look at our circle again, you can take a look at the map view on YouTube, Call of Duty channel there on YouTube. Always got the map, but here's a quick look on main. You can see Vortex holding some of these teams, trying to take out some of the power position spots, but we are headed to City, I can only imagine, which is exciting to see. I haven't seen one in a while, and some of our top teams, fairly well centrally located. This squad on your screen is our top slaying squad currently on nine eliminations. A lot of folks at home said this is one of the top teams today. Our guests said they're one of the top teams teams and seemingly this is uh proving to be the case in the very first map as they are on nine kills currently fairly centrally located on the edge of riverside perfectly positioned to pick up some of the teams that didn't rotate across the river that will have to come in late this should be a nice farming uh position to pick up probably three four in transition 
And this is great, right? They're already performing above average from prior performances throughout World Series of Warzone. Their average kills per game before this is sitting around eight. So to be on nine and growing with that gatekeeping position, this is a beautiful pace to set, especially here in match number one. But for the squad on your screen, Fagel, Stukix, Benzi, we've got some work to do. We've got to get yeah. out of this sea town area across, whether it's through the water here, which could be one of the safest opportunities for them, but not when you're going to have to contend with other squads that start lurching down. You've got Huncho just across the way. We've already seen them burn their gulags and look for eliminations, but I just don't know how we approach this because Bagel's already looking for angles. Yeah, this is a battle for the backside. Uh, the zone pulled fairly aggressively west, actually, uh, going into this fist circle. So uh, this is going to be pretty brutal for a couple of these teams that are hedging their bets to the kind of eastern side or north side of city. We are like way over all the way almost to bridge with this new zone. So Bagel and Co gonna have to make a play here and again this is a team that one of the top performing eu teams from last year on global land talking eighth place overall and seeded eight today and they made the swap to reunite with the former teammate with benzi and right now all they're doing is c4ing themselves as they try to figure out where to go from here gonna grab high ground and then probably fly over the problem is there's one, two, three, five teams holding them, and several of them are top kill leading teams. That blade team has made it in a circle. That's that purple two you see at the bottom of our mini map. And we actually see off screen fever kill squad one being one of the latest teams to rotate on the south side of the city. So watch out for that pink team six. We see them in the mini map as well. A lot of their rotations just being thwarted due to the fact that they keep having to make regains, which was one of the biggest issues they found in the earlier rounds of World Series of Warzone. But for this rotation at hand, Stukex really kind of navigating this terrain along the coast and mirroring Donathan and Ben on the opposing side. But when you've got a vehicle for cover, let's chuck some C4s and maybe hit a Hail Mary and see if it can work. But other than that, we kind of creep forward under the guise of these smokes. Nice. Can Bagel find a good angle? That is such a stellar way to open it up and force them kind of more towards the building. Yeah, again, battle for the backside. This is exactly what they want to do. They're playing edge. They finally are finding some eliminations. They only have four, by the way, and right now, low on resources, low on plates going around. They need to get another full team wipe to grab their opponent's resources, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be Revolt. Hiding inside of that shack is going to be brutal to break through, so they actually go for a wider rotation. As we see the new zone, it is pulled a hair south of bridge, so we are still inside city, and frankly, the best teams in position. We'll get team 23, team 25 already in zone a lot of folks gonna be rotating in from this eastern side of city working their way to the west uh, you can see squad 29 as well up ahead of them that's in above this is gonna be a brutal rotation as teams continually fall in the kill feed and we have officially made it to our 1.4x multiplier with our top 20 squads yeah, I don't know what Azen's on, but it's got to be something because I saw a lot of teams getting wiped some constant action here, but hopefully Benzi can find some time right there for Stukex to hit. The res does, bumps into the tunnel, and it's just not going to be enough. Aaron hits the rotate and looks for the cleanup. Now oh. Bagel trying to do a final standoff and just can't hold it together. Can't hold it together, and hey, it's Aaron. He's saying hey to his opponents, too. A nice wipe there from hey, it's Aaron with some subs playing that outer reaches his own. Look at him walking in. That's Walker having to sub in emergency substitution because of some power outages from Rakes, their former teammate. So we'll see what Walker can do. Maybe he's going to be an X Factor today in the last moments being subbed in right before the competition. But here we go. 17 teams remaining and deep inside the zone. We're already PDSing. We're already maintaining position because this team is our still. There are kill leaders. They want multipliers. We need to get the top 10. Look at this new zone right in the middle of it all. And frankly, Tiff, there's hardly a building to boot inside this new zone. So not the city zone we were expecting, but the city zone nonetheless. As all of a sudden, Blade is in trouble as they're rotating in late. It's somebody. It's Belv. They're waiting, lurking, looking for some a couple of eliminations in the late game. Looking to make top 10 as well. Robstar makes a play and gets it. Nice takedown. Down, doesn't actually get netted the kill but stays alive for a moment we get the reset we get the buybacks and now you're gonna have all those budget uav live pings coming in from the teammates flying on now i'm really worried about the building that you see in the north here you have control deck down riding that fence line and robstar looks to be down inside the gas will be unfortunate but vortex and blade they're choosing to full send this building there's like multiple squads here and we still have to pull out of it but one thing's to be said is that fifa jukies lennon yep. they make an early wrap they leave the building we do get that res earlier on to jukies 
Ortiz. And now we're looking to go into that end game with three of our team. Tony White on the screen. A lot of talk to them in the pre-show. But can they withstand all of the rotations that are going to come out of this building without wasting too much of their resources? It looks like the team falling right now. FIFA kill breaking down on main because it's Blade. Vortex, they got here earlier and uh, it's paying off. They're winning. That's team two in the purple. Now being cut down, Vortex takes out Jukies off screen. There's FIFA answering back and wiping our top kill leaders. Now they did get top 10. They did get a 1.6x multi, but they will not get the 1.x. We're down to the final five teams. Jukies team, I believe, out of it as well. Down to the final five, and neither of those top two teams are going to get the 1.8x multiplier. It's all down to Big Tony and down with two. It looks like Kibby's off on the other side. Some of our Italian teams still in it into the final five. And we've got to hit that major pull. Everyone looking for the early rotation, but maybe you just worry about cleaning up the teams that aren't rotating just yet. Looks for the rotate around control that gets iced out. And now we're into the final three. The squad on your screen, they took one of the earlier rotations. Jesus Jr. on four, looking for five, but we can just play this fence line and honestly get a little aggro Come with on, it. Come on, Jesus Jr. How about a one, how about a two, how about a full team wipe? Welcome in, and Mr. X Factor himself. They could win it all, and they do. They bring in a substitution, and it pays off in the very first map. Team Kibbies, Jesus Jr., and Maze Pele come out on top with a nice game under their belts. And well, Enigma said Jesus Jr. was going to be a difference maker, and apparently that is definitely the case. It really is, especially when you can just kind of know your positions and your roles on your trio. It can make such a large difference. If you're allowing Jesus Jr. to kind of go out and create these angles, take these elimination opportunities, and just kind of rack up those for your team, we have this, the, the, 